it's a very special day today, very, very special day for the channel and for Cycle Norway. This is a story about a YouTuber, the Norwegian state, and a road so incredible, my drone didn't want to land. It's a story where one road epitomizes the deep rooted toughness of the people who live in this country. It's also a story that shows you that anyone can influence change here in Norway. And lastly, it's a story about the gatekeepers who quietly manage this road, both the good sides to it and the not so good. Welcome to Sognafella, the highest mountain pass road in Northern Europe and one of the greatest to ride, drive or cycle over. All right. No. Now we have to lift. Yes. We have covered many of Norway's famous roads on this channel, but so far I haven't paid much attention to this one. This mighty road is 108 kilometers long, reaching over 1,400 meters at the highest point. Now I understand for many that might not sound that high compared to other areas on the planet, but it's not the altitude so much that makes the road special, it's the latitude. It's 61 degrees north. This is one of the coldest places in Europe during the summer period. This icy glacial world will produce sub-zero temperatures even in the peak of July. I would never have thinking that it would be snowing. For those that are willing to suffer, cycling it is a great way to experience just how powerful, awe-inspiring and brutal this area can be. This is great. You are still alive. From the east side, it's a 50 kilometer climb to the summit, and on the west side, it's 27 and a half k's, with an average gradient of 9% for the first 14 kilometers. But it's not just cyclists who raise their heart rates on this road. Many national cross country skiing teams train up here during the spring and early summer period. The road is managed by the Norwegian Scenic Route Organization and thus you're going to find rest areas, viewing platforms and some very cool thought provoking architecture. And of course, let's not forget about the toilets. Smells of roses in here. Smells of roses. What a design that is as well. Very impressive. Before the tunnels that now cut through all the mountain ranges here in Norway, Sognafella was the most suitable mountain pass for trade to reach either side of the country. By the 15th century, cairns started to appear on the top, guiding people across. But as we mentioned, the environment up here can be brutal on the wrong day. People who cross with horses sometimes had to kill their animal and crawl inside the belly to be able to stay warm and to survive. Then you had the bandits who hid in remote areas of the trail, ready to rob anyone who crossed their paths. So remember, if you cycle it, no matter how bad the weather is or the gradient gets, it beats crawling inside a horse or getting your bike stolen halfway up the mountain. Oh, some cyclists. How did it go coming up? Oh no! Yeah, not easy. Not Thank easy, you. no. Thank you. We didn't expect the snow. You didn't expect the snow yeah. in, in July. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. It's like, it, was, it was difficult to check it on the forecast because there was no exactly local one. Yeah. But it's part of the journey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it is great. We are still alive. We, we are glad we are. Uh, we, we passed the peak. I lost my shades. I left them on another mountain pass by mistake. 
trying to cycle without shades when it's kind of like sleet and rain in your face is difficult. Ah. Uh. So what am I doing here in such bad weather? Well, to explain, we need to go back in time a little bit. Now in Norway, there are very, very few summit signs. If you're lucky, you might get this. And if you're really lucky, you might get this. Now let's fast forward to May 2022 when the Norwegian Scenic Routes asked me to recommend small changes that they could implement on the roads for cyclists. Signs were on my list. And guess what? So on this beautiful day at the top of the highest mountain pass here in Norway, we're getting some new signs. Not just any old signs though. These are official cyclist signs. So when you come to the top of here, you're going to have a beautiful sign to get a photo with your bike as a souvenir of your incredible achievements. We've already got uh, uh, spectators are turning up to see this momentous event. This lady can't wait. Are you excited about this? <laughs> We're putting up a new sign. Amazing. Which one would you prefer? Oh, so we're only putting one here? Yeah, only one, yes. And then where's the other going then? The, the other one, uh, you will go uh, well down to your bike. Uh, can I take it home? Yeah, <laughs> I'll have it in my bedroom. Yeah. Be... I, think, uh, I think we should keep with the, the format. Yeah. Because I think when you're getting photos, if you're going to get a photo for every one, mm. it's nice to get the same, the same one, if you know what I mean. I you're, it... you're damn right. Mm. And then I can take this one home and put it, put it up in Oslo? Yeah, you can. If you, if you, uh, <laughs> well, you won't use this? As a gift for... From me. From him? <laughs> from him. From him, yes. The left? Yes. Oh, all right. Uh, there was a British cyclist who complained about it. So I, I thought we should uh, do something about it. So um, uh, we decided to put up uh, signs on, on the eastern side of uh, Sognefjelle, uh, uh, not only on the western side. So this is the last uh, sign we're putting up. Uh, and it's all fit and ready for, for the season. So I hope both, both you and the, the other cyclists will enjoy it. We are happy that we have the sign. Because uh, yeah, no, there are no. Usually there are no signs how high you are, so that's good to know. It's only been up one minute, and we've already got Taurus here, just loving it. So I have to briefly mention stickers. Yes, they can look charming and give character to old signs, but unfortunately things get out of hand very, very quickly, and it turns into a form of vandalism. This is what Troll Stick and Sign looks like at the end of each season. You're going to really pee these guys off if you put stickers on the sign. I understand that not everyone is going to like these signs. Maybe some people feel there should be more information on the signs. But right now, it's just about getting them out there. In the future, they can be upgraded or replaced. But it's one small step at a time.
There is not one part of this 108 km road which isn't outstandingly beautiful. On the west side you descend down to a fjord and on the east side into this enchanting Nordic pine forest which has this powerful glacier river running right through it. Back in the 90s the Norwegian scenic routes built a picturesque picnic and rest area in this forest. Unfortunately over time it's been worn down and damaged in places from people not obeying the rules. camping area with the three four cars so we have blocked it uh, as you see with the big stones uh, but it's not enough now we are closing it for cars this is uh, what we're doing we are only making some kind of a path through so uh, pedestrians and uh, bicyclists can come through the forest badly needs a rest to regenerate, so this area is now closed for everyone until June 2024. In the meantime, I'm honored to be chosen as an advisor and consultant for cycling specific improvements here. I've already made some suggestions, but so far not heard anything back. But seriously, I hope this could be a pilot or trial project which could create a blueprint for perhaps future cycling infrastructure across the country. Obviously, that's a big dream, but this is certainly a promising start. Remember, one small step at a time. I'll keep you posted. For all you guys that watch and support the channel, if it weren't for you, these wouldn't have happened. As the channel grows and as people comment and tell me that they want to come and cycle in Norway, other people within government organisations are reading these comments and they're seeing the enthusiasm for people wanting to cycle in this country and all that is having a positive effect and hence these signs appeared. That's it guys, thanks for watching as always, I'll see you in the next one. Hard of our from a very cold and chilly. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's so beautiful. Look at it.